Welcome to the inhalation tutorial. Now, inhalation can mean smoking or vaporizing, but we don't recommend smoking as the health hazards are unclear. So our focus today is going to be vaporization. Vaporization, often also referred to as just vaping, is when the cannabis bud or concentrate is heated to a point at which it can turn into vapor and be inhaled, but not to a temperature where it burns the actual plant material. Many people use vaporization for immediate relief of acute pain, migraines, nausea, or trouble falling asleep, among other symptoms. It can also be used as a lifestyle moderator, enhancing relaxation, potentially decreasing anxiety, as well as for just simple enjoyment. Some things to be aware of as you vaporize are that the onset time is generally immediate, Concentrates that are vaporized can have additives at times, and any additive can at the very least introduce impurities and at worst create a health risk. One common additive is propylene glycol, and recent studies do show that it could not be very good for your health. So just know what's in your medicine, especially if you choose a concentrate like the ones found in vape cartridges. As with all cannabis medicine, it's best to store cannabis away from any heat source and out of the sun. So if practical, just keep it in your refrigerator. Vaporizers can vary widely in shapes, sizes, cost, and quality. So just remember that when choosing which vaporizer to buy. The technology behind vaporization can vary as well. Popular heat sources include an electric element, convection, or even induction heating. All of these have their pros as well as their cons potentially. Today we're going to focus on vaporizer that uses bud flowers as well as talk about vape pens, which are a, just a very common way to vaporize because of their accessibility and uh, discreteness. We won't demonstrate a desktop vaporizer but this is actually a great option because it allows you to adjust the temperature that you're vaporizing in. For a list of recommended high quality products and discounts, go to the resource section of our website. All right, let's jump into the demo so you can get acquainted with vaporizers. So let's talk a little bit about vaporization, but before we get into these products that we have in front of us, I want to touch on the technology that's used because of any of the, these intake methods, vaporization is really the only one that directly uses technology. Now it does so because it has to heat the product, whether it's a bud or a concentrate, up to a certain temperature where it can actually turn into vapor and be inhaled. That is vaporization. But as we've said, not to a temperature where it's burning the plant material or the concentrate and therefore is different from smoking. Now, in order to heat the substance, it has to use some type of element. Some of the vaporizers, like this vape pen here, use an electric technology. They have something like a coil, it gets heated, heats the concentrate to go into your body. This vaporizer uses a convection oven to heat a bud or flower to then vaporize and be inhaled. The technology that each vaporizer uses doesn't necessarily have a direct benefit or disadvantage for your health. But certain technologies can be cleaner than others and heat more evenly. So just pay attention to that. And if you want to geek out a little bit, you can educate yourself on the array of technologies, including electric, convection, or even induction technologies used within these vaporizers that are both portable and what we call desktop. Let's start first with this vaporizer here. This is a portable vaporizer that uses convection technology. As you can see, this vaporizer uses bud or flour. You pack the flour into the small oven, cover it, and it uses technology to then heat that and you can inhale the vapor. Generally, to get the medicine in there, you want to do it without disturbing or crushing the trichomes, which really hold the cannabinoids and terpenes within the plant without disturbing them as much as possible. And that's why we use a grinder. 
Now a grinder has metal spokes inside of it and it grinds the butter flour into smaller pieces so that it can be both packed and heated more evenly. Now let's move on to a vape pen. This is a very popular form of a vaporizer. As you can see, it's very discreet and extremely portable. As you can also see, it uses a different type of medicine from this flour vaporizer that I just showed you. It uses a concentrate. Now these are generally referred to as vaporizing cartridges or vape cartridges. You buy them separately. I'm just gonna take it apart for you and show you how it works. This is the battery and this is the cartridge. The cartridge obviously is what contains your medicine. These can be replaced over time and used with the battery, which is recharged in general. Some batteries have a button on it to heat and some you just heat by inhalation only. Now, things to keep in mind when using a vape pen is that you can't particularly know your medicine as intimately as when you have a bud, for example. You can't smell it directly, and sometimes you just don't know as much of what's in your medicine. So that's where you really wanna to get to know your producer, and you wanna have very clear labeling on your product before you take it. So you wanna know what the cannabinoid ratios are and what other elements are in this cartridge. Some producers add other elements into the vape cartridge that are not medicine related. Now, this is for various reasons. They may want to allow the actual medicine to be vaporized more easily, and that product, for example, propylene glycol is one of them, allows for a little bit uh, easier consistency when heated. Uh, the other is to make it last longer or to carry a flavor profile, for example, a little bit more easily so that you can enjoy it. So there's various reasons why people use additives into vape cartridges, but we recommend, if possible, to just use pure medicine. As pure as possible is really best. So get to know your producer, get to know where you're getting your medicine from, know your cannabinoid profiles, and know if there's any other products besides cannabis in your vape cartridges. So as with any intake method, really pay attention to what your dosing is. The great thing about vaporizers is that it's a little bit easier to incrementally dose, given that the effect is generally immediate and you can control your own dosing by how hard you inhale and how long you inhale for. As with everything, we recommend starting low and going slow. That means taking a small inhale for a short period of time, doing a sensing exercise, seeing how you feel. It's really easy with vaporization because it's immediate. And then if you do need more of an effect or want more of that medicine, you can go ahead and go to the second dose that way. So just be cognizant of how hard you're inhaling and how long you inhale for when using vaporizers.